Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at insecure deserialization. We'll explain what insecure deserialization is, its causes, preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is insecure deserialization? Serialization is when data structures or object states are translated into a format that can be stored. Deserialization is the opposite process. It involves extracting a data structure from a series of bytes. Insecure deserialization occurs when untrusted data is used to abuse the logic flow of an application, execute arbitrary code, or inflict a denial of service DOS, when it is being deserialized. What causes insecure deserialization? The cause of insecure deserialization is the fact that developers often trust data provided by a sanitized object more than classical user input. To understand insecure deserialization vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. Let's say an online shop uses serialization to save the shopping cart of a user. The user saves the state of the shopping cart and receives the following serialized object from the website. The user alters the serialized object and changes the price to 5 as he hopes the application does not check the serialized object and the new price gets used. Insecure deserialization occurs when the object is loaded, deserialized by the application, and the data is used without validation. The user will only have to pay the price from the deserialized object. Insecure deserialization could have significant impact. Insecure deserialization could be used to execute arbitrary code, abuse the logic flow of an application, or even inflict a denial of service. SQL injection, cross-site scripting, or even remote code execution could result due to insecure deserialization. It depends on how the serialized object is used. To prevent insecure deserialization vulnerabilities, developers should sanitize the data of a serialized object as untrusted user input through filtering or validation. Also, implement integrity checks such as digital signatures on any serialized object. This will prevent tampering. And finally, isolate and run code that deserializes in a low-privilege environment. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, Insecure Deserialization.